Chapter 10. The Sophon Project. Here we need another key concept. In interstellar warfare, a dimensional strike doesn't simply erase dimensions. It compresses them to the microscopic scale. Take four-dimensional space as an example. A dimensional reduction compresses one of its axes into the structure of subatomic particles. Those particles now contain hidden dimensions, but can no longer form higher dimensional objects. As explained in the third book, they transform into what we know in three dimensions as protons and electrons, the building blocks of our universe. The Trisolarans' mastery of physics was vast. They could manipulate nine of the universe's eleven dimensions. They learned to unfold the compressed dimensions hidden within microscopic particles. Even a single particle, once unfolded, revealed enormous space. A proton, when expanded into two dimensions, could cover the entire surface of Trisolaris. Later, phenomena like ball lightning were explained as the three-dimensional unfolding of electrons. But this did not mean the Trisolarans could reverse dimensional strikes on a cosmic scale. There were limits. First, unfolding dimensions consumed staggering amounts of energy. Even their massive particle accelerators could only unfold a single proton. It was like the second law of thermodynamics. Just as heat flows naturally from hot to cold, restoring order requires extra input. Air conditioners cool a room, but only by burning energy elsewhere. Second, information was lost in the dimensional collapse. Like compressing an image file into a lossy format, unfolding it later could never restore its original clarity. Still, the Trisolarans pressed on. They unfolded two dimensions within a proton, etched circuits onto its surface, and transformed it into a computer. The process was arduous, delicate, and perilous. After years of effort, by 1990, they completed the first siphon. A siphon had extraordinary abilities. It could fly freely at near light speed, it could expand or contract its internal dimensions at will. It could carry vast stores of data. While a lone sophon in its contracted state was inaccessible, multiple sophons could communicate through quantum entanglement, enabling faster-than-light messaging. Over the following years, four more sophons were completed. Only with at least four could they form a stable communication network. Once finished, all sophons were compressed back to the microscopic scale. In 2001, two of them were sent to Earth. 